Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Mizo Tech TV. Today, I want to show you how to find your phone if it's lost. I know many of us have had that time where we left our phone in a car somewhere, in a friend's car, at your father's house, your mother's house, a friend's house, or even just really close by, but you just can't find it. You ever wonder what that find my phone feature on uh, that, that Apple advertises or that's in your settings, but you never knew just how to use it? Today, I want to show you exactly how to do that because I use this feature all the time. I'm always leaving the house and, uh, you know, I'll have my phone, um, you know, probably under something or in something or I'm. Sometimes I, I'll leave it outside overnight and I'm able to use the find my phone feature and I can find it and continue my day. So the first thing that you want to do before you start this, hopefully you haven't lost your phone while watch, watching this video. But if you did, there may be a chance that you have this feature enabled on your phone. So the first thing that we want to do is if you look on the right side of the screen, I have a uh, image of my phone. Now to, to see if this feature is enabled on your phone you want to go to settings and settings is usually on the first menu with all the icons on it. Um, it could be anywhere on that screen um, but by default that's where it's at. So go ahead and click settings and then when, what we want to do is scroll down until we see iCloud. Uh, depending on what release you have or what update you have, uh, the orders might be a little out of out of pocket, but just find iCloud. So go ahead and click iCloud, and then scroll all the way down. Okay, if you scroll all the way all the way down, you'll see that I have a feature called Find My iPhone, and that feature is set to on. If that's off, set that feature on, and you may have to go through some steps to verify your. Uh, Apple password and then the feature should be set on. Okay, after you have that feature set on, okay, what you want to do is go to a website called iCloud.com. And remind you, this is not just a website, it's Apple's website. And if you watch my previous videos, I talked about the Make it when, when you're web browsing and web browsing and, and searching the internet, which is basically the same thing. Um, you want to, there's a couple things that you want to look for. And right here, when I click on the outside, you can see that lock uh, that displays here. That means this site is official. So iCloud is basically a, an area where all your documents, your photos, and things like that are backed up and even a uh, backup of your whole phone can be stored on here. And there's a couple other things that you can do as well. But let's just focus on finding my phone. So the first thing you want to do is log in with your Apple ID. I have mine set up to where it automatically uh, auto-populates my password. So once you log on, you already see a couple out icons that you that you're familiar with, and if you click on some of these, you'll see a lot of um, you'll see a lot of your 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 files that are on your phone that are also on this site, and which it makes it really useful when you're away from your phone and you want to look at some notes or you want to look at some reminders or your calendar. But let's just go click on this find my phone feature, and we'll wait till it loads. So now this. The, this is locating all my Apple devices that I own and currently it's trying to find where I'm at. So what it does is turns on the GPS function on the phone and tries to locate the phone and tells you where your phone is. And from whichever area you're from, you can pretty much see, oh, okay, all right, well, my phone is home or my phone is over my father's house or my phone is over my friend's house that where I, you know, I was hanging out with him last night. But let's just click on one of these dots. So you see that my MacBook Pro 
and my iPhone are very close to each other. So let's just say that I lost my iPhone. So what I want to do is I want to I want to find it or I might even know where it's at because just from the location. But let's just say that it is home and it's in my house somewhere. It's under the uh, sofa. So I click this uh, I symbol after clicking the green dot and you have a couple options here. Your phone pops up and it tells you the, the few options that you have. So I, know, I not only can play a sound to try to find my phone if it's nearby, but I can also put it in lost mode or I can erase the phone if there's something very important on there that I do not want anyone to see or get a hold of. And that could be anything. That could be photos, that could be text messages, passwords. So you want to try to keep your phone um, safe, and this is one of the ways to do so. But I'm not going to click any of these erase my phone or lost mode, but I will click play sound. So once I click play sound, my phone nearby, which is right next to me, should play a tune. So let me go ahead and click that. So you guys hear that? So right now my phone is making this noise. Now let me see if it shows you on the screen of what it's doing. So it's not really showing you what it's doing, but it's saying find, find my phone alert. Press for more information. Okay. So once you press the home button, the phone will come back to its normal state and you're not on you're, you're no longer in playing the sound mode. So I hope this video helped you guys on understanding another nice feature that Apple delivers. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you guys have any additional comments or anything that you would like to see me do a video on or a how-to tutorial or something that you would like me to explain that you might not understand. Please leave a comment. Thank you guys. Peace. Don't